Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can connect your R interface or R Studio interface to the Google Sheets. So as you know Google Sheet is a good product of Google Drive or Google and the basic idea is that you can take most of your spreadsheet work online and sometimes uh, you have the uh, collaborated Google Sheets online with, from which you want to fetch the data and get it into R for your analysis. So in this video, I will talk about how you can connect your Google Spreadsheets directly here from the R interface and then store your object data or store your Google Spreadsheet data in the R object. So before I move ahead, I would ask that if you want to get more notification about the new videos regarding the R, then please subscribe to this channel. So here, first of all, uh, the library that we are going to use is the Google Spread, Google Sheets. So I will use the library Google Sheets. So generally, it is not pre-installed, and if you have not installed it, then you need to use it. Install dot packages command and then enter Google Sheets. So Google Sheets is the name that you need to give and then hit enter and it will install it to you. So because I have it installed, I will not go ahead and install it. I will use the command library to import it from my list of libraries. And here I will write Google Sheets and I'm good here. So it is just giving me warning messages, so nothing to worry about. And the first command or the very first operation is to uh, get connected to your account or your Google account. So let's do that. Um, and the most of the command that start in this package is with the prefix of GS. Well, if you want to get an entire list, then obviously you can use the question mark and then name of the package. And once you hit enter, it gives you the uh, information about this entire package. And you can either go on CRAN or GitHub to know the entire stuff or you can click on index but another alternative way to utilize the help is by going into packages and here also you can write google sheets so once you hit enter it uh, it shows you all the packages that is matching with this string so there are three packages and i'm using the first package google sheets so i will go ahead and use the google sheets so this is an alternative way where you can get the entire list of information in google sheets if the previous help uh, which we got it by this command was not helpful. So as you could see there is a whole lot of list of command and uh, most of them are starting with the GS as a pre prefix. So the command we will going to use to attach to our Google account is GS underscore auth. As you can see it authorizes Google Sheet. So simply GS underscore auth and I hit enter. And as soon as I hit the enter, it takes me to my Google account and it first of all asking me for request for permission. And here is my Google account, my email ID. And I click allow. Once I allow, it says authentication complete. Please close this page and return to R. Well, that simple it is. I think you don't need to do anything else. All right. So right now we are here. Everything is completed. And now I can get all the list of Google spreadsheets that are here and we will do it with the GS underscore LS command. So once I hit this, it will fetch all the list which are there. So I have like monthly budget, condition formatting, stuff to remember and a whole lot of things. Well, if you, it is not showing you because it's saying 29 other rows. So to see the entire stuff, you need to store the result of this gs underscore ls into some sort of uh, r object to get the entire list well to that uh, let's create a new object which is my google sheets and we are doing nothing but giving the same command gs underscore ls well that simple it is and if i want to see it i will use the view command and say my underscore google score sheets once i do that here are my entire list and if you are not able to see let me go up here 
and here are these different kinds of Google Sheets which I have in this. So I have sheet title, who is the author, uh, permission, version, when it is updated, sheet key, w underscore s feed, all those parameters related to Google Sheets, right? So that's that's how you can, you know, basically store and uh, get the information about your different Google Sheets. But the main idea is about how you can uh, basically get the information from these uh, uh, from these Google Sheets. So, for example, uh, I have recently stored the the sheet called Empty Cars, which is again uh, inbuilt Empty Cars data set over here. So, if I want to register it, register the sheet, then I will use the command js underscore title. So if you see gs underscore title command over here, uh, gs underscore title, yeah, there you go. gs underscore title, register a Google Sheet. Even you have gs underscore URL, which can register this sheet. So you can basically use any of the one. And the third one here, I got it is gs underscore key. So you have different things like sheet, this uh, um, key of your, sheets um the name the url stuff url of the sheet that is there so you can use these different parameters these different commands to basically register the sheet so let's use the gs underscore title to basically register the sheet so my uh, sheet is uh, empty cards so i will use gs underscore empty cards as my object to to register the gs underscore title and I will use empty course so I hit the enter and it should get me sheet successfully identified empty cars so now if I hit uh, head of gs underscore empty cars then I can see its relevant information like sheet key sheet title you know all this different information which is relevant to my sheet now uh, if i let's say hit the view command let me see what it should give to me well it gives me the different information again related to the sheet uh, similar to how it has provided me the sheet title the blue underscore feed browse url and when it got updated all right, so far good. We have successfully registered that sheet and we are able to see its different parameters that are coming perfectly fine. Now after this, we want to read the sheet. So for that, uh, let's create another object, which is GS underscore, um, GS underscore, let's say, uh, sheet one maybe. And so we'll write GS underscore read and then the sheet object name with which we registered here in this case it was js underscore empty cars and what worksheet you want to read is first worksheet alternatively you can give the name if you have want to access it by via name so let me just go ahead and use the worksheet one to get the contents and once i hit enter and it is saying it has downloaded the data so to see the data we will use the view command view uh, view view and name of gs underscore sheet one all right so now you have it uh, the sheet contents and with that all your google sheet data is now in the r and you can do the analysis well, that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video about how you can access your Google spreadsheets here in the R and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.